This video shows you the steps to activate your UAlbany Qualtrics account and how to create a survey project in Qualtrics. We will focus on web or online survey, but at the same time, we will also touch upon offline or in-person survey creation process using Qualtrics. First, go to UAlbany Institutional Research website, www.albany.edu slash IR. Go to Surveys at UAlbany, scroll down and find Qualtrics Survey Tool, click the Qualtrics Wiki link, then click Launch Qualtrics. Type in your UAlbany Net ID and password. Then you are at the homepage of your Qualtrics account. To create a survey project, click the three lines on the top left corner and go to Projects. Then click the Create Projects button. You can see a number of project templates provided by Qualtrics, but normally we just need to create a survey from scratch. Click the Survey button and click Get Started. In this tutorial, I'm using a real survey as an example. The survey's title is Wall State University Doctoral Student Experience Survey. In the name box, I copy and paste the project name in and place this new project into a default folder. If you have an existing Qualtrics survey project, you can import it with the bottom drop-down. In this example, I select Create a Blank Survey Project, then click the blue button labeled Create Projects. Now we can build our survey. In the survey building page, we can see our survey title in one default block with one blank default multiple choice question. There's a navigation bar on the top. Survey, workflows, distributions, data and analysis, results and reports. In this video, we will focus on survey tab. On the left side navigation bar, we have filter, survey flow, look and feel, survey options, and translations. To build questions into a survey, we start with Builder. If you want to change the project name, click here and edit the text. Questions can be organized by blocks in Qualtrics. You may have a block for survey description and concept form, and one block for demographics, questions, etc. You can change the name of the block and add more blocks by scrolling down and clicking Add Block. The default question provided by Qualtrics is the multiple choice question. You can change the question type by selecting an option from the question type list. Typically, the first question is set to be the survey description in concept form. So I select text graphic type, then copy and paste the description from my draft. You can format the description text by clicking Rich Content Editor, where you will be able to change the font, size, color, etc. Then you can work on the second question for the consent form. Select text graphic type, copy and paste from the draft. Then we need to add the agree button at the bottom of the page that allows respondents who agree to continue with the survey. Click the entire block, then click next slash previous button text under format. In the text box for the next button text, type in I agree and click save. Now we have our first block ready. We can preview the survey by clicking the preview button on the top right corner. You can see how the first block looks on the web page and on a smartphone. You can organize your survey project by renaming the question number. By default, respondents will not be able to see the question numbers. For example, I rename my first question as description and the second question as agreement. Now I add another block to add my survey questions in. I rename the second block name as question block. My first question in my survey is a multiple choice question asking respondents whether they are currently enrolled in a PhD program at the WSU. 
Then I add a multiple choice question by clicking add new question and change the number of choices to two. Because we only want PhD students who are currently enrolled to take this survey, we need to set a skip logic and only allow qualified respondents to continue with the survey. If no in the survey is selected, respondents will be directed to the end of the survey. Then we can add more questions by clicking the blue plus sign. We can add an open-ended question using text entry question type. Sometimes we may ask respondents to fill in multiple text information, like contact information. Then we use form field question type, change number of fields and type in field names, such as first name, last name, and email address. You can adjust the text box size by clicking and dragging the handle on the bottom right of the text box. To ensure respondents provide accurate email addresses, we can validate email address. Click to edit validation. Go to email, validation, and select valid email address. Say we want to reorder the sequence of the questions, move the contact information before Q7 by clicking the contact question and dragging it to the right position. Another very useful feature in Qualtrics is display logic. For example, I want to display appropriate post-graduation employment options in question 4 to different respondents based on their enrollment period answered in question 6. In question 6, I ask respondents in which time period they started the PhD program. They have three choices, 2015 to 2016, 2018 to 2019, and other. So I want to only show the first option in question 4 to students who enrolled between July 1st, 2015 to June 30th, 2016. We click the down arrow button in the first option and select add display logic. Choose Q6 in which time studies at the WSU and pick the first choice 2015 to 2016 is selected, then save. So we want to add another option, other to question 4 and ask respondents to explain more. We can change the number of choices and type in other, please explain. Then click the down arrow button and select allow text entry. Sometimes we may want to reorder the choices. We can click the option down arrow button and click move up to adjust the position. We can also exclude an option from analysis by choosing exclude from analysis using the same button. Now let me show you how to create a matrix question. Add a new question and change question type to matrix table. Copy and paste the question branch from the draft. The first column shows the sub-question statement. We can change the number of statements and use Edit multiple under statements to paste in the sub-questions from the draft. Same concept, we use the edit multiple under scale points to paste in the choices from the draft. Another cool feature in Qualtrics is that you can import some basic but complicated questions from Qualtrics library. For example, we want to add a multiple choice demographics question like U.S. zip code, education level, or race. We can click import from library, demographics, U.S. demographics, then pick the questions desired. Usually, we need a submit button on the last page of the survey. We create a block with a few last questions and add next button text, fill in submit, and save. Now we can check our survey project structure by clicking the survey flow. 
We can adjust the appearance of the survey by changing the settings in Look and Feel. Make sure you check the settings in survey options. For example, in general section, do you want to show question numbers to respondents? Do you want to customize the display survey name and survey description? In responses section, do you want to turn on the back button that allows respondents to go back to the previous questions and make changes? Do you allow them to finish the survey later? One of the most important things is to set how much time should pass before they're considered incomplete. Once the incomplete responses are recorded, respondents will not be able to click the link again and complete the survey. Think about your sample features. By default, Quartrics records incomplete responses in one week. I would suggest you change that to one month. Also check the settings in security and post survey sections to make sure the data collection process is sound to your project. Once you've finished all the settings, click the publish button on the top right corner and you will be able to see an expert review that tells you the quality of the survey design and recommended changes. You'll also be able to see and copy this neutral survey link. Now we can preview the entire survey and test all the built-in features. Open the Distributions tab. You can pick a distribution channel and a method within that channel. To start data collection, you can choose from email, web, social media, SMS, text messages, QR codes, for example. To send a survey via email from Qualtrics, for instance, click Email and select Compose Email. For more detailed information on each distribution method, please go to www.qualtrics.com support survey platform. After data collection, you can view the survey data in Data and Analysis. In many circumstances, you will work with other researchers or colleagues on the same survey project. You may want to leave notes for some questions to explain the design or display logic. Adding notes or comments is also one of the requirements in your assignment for this class. Click a question, find the three dots on the top right corner, select Add Note. Now let me show you the Tools drop-down menu. You can auto-number questions, reset recode values, collaborate with others, etc. You can also use the tools to import or export the survey into PDF or Word documents. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, send me an email.